Because you don't need to touch my uh, headset. Say hi, buddy. There you go. For, so I can take a drink. You should know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time dwelling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll give you something special that'll live up to your expectations. Yeah, I know they have five kitties on me at one time. We got a picture of our cat as a kitten. And before we even officially got him. And yeah, he's lying on my sneaker one night. Oh, that was delicious. That was cooking is so good as ever, Tio. Oh, if I can dig it up, uh, Kitty, I'll put it on my server anyway. Uh, I forget she gets excited to cook whatever we have guests over for meals. I feel like we have Joshua, though. With the little ones jumping all over them like that. Uh, it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids seem to latch on to him a lot. If anything, I'm all blown away by the fact that the children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely curious and maybe even a tad reserved, but if you get to know him, he's really carrying you in. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it, too, gives him points in my book. You really think so? Think about it. With those striking facial features, your serious amber eyes, and lush black hair, uh, I'll take through the pictures to find one. A behold the kitten. Okay, sounds good. I'll shut the call at two. So naturally he'd uh, be a target for all the young girls. Huh? Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Who has it that one just a few girls have asked to go out with him? I heard he turned down all... I heard he turned them all down, though. I, I had no idea. Joshua sure never said a word to me about it. I don't think how I should even begin to describe his secret of nature after hearing this, but how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. If you were a boy, I'd imagine it would be a different story. But as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Huh? Why would I? Still, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. All right, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done, Tio. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? All right. Oh, all right. Be careful out there, still. That girl, she's not completely out of touch with matters of the hearth, or just plain dance. But Joshua, he really has what cut out for him. It seems as though the monsters always show up around this time. We better go outside and take a look around. Gah. Oh, what's going on, Estelle? I gotta ask Joshua. You don't have it to. I have any secrets you're not telling me about, are you? Come on now. Coming up with this stuff. Since you came to live with us, you've always done everything together, right? You know, we've had a fair share of fights. But they're all good memories for me now, and... What I to say is... I've come to think of as family. But never since the war. Still. So, if there's anything on your mind that you'd like to talk about, I'll be able to lend an ear. Or the other ear. You know. What things like. No, you're not going to be done going for a long time, buddy. I'm taller than you now. 
That's because I'm sitting down when you're standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm not taller you. You're not taller than me when you're sitting down? Well, I'm standing up on couch. <laughs> I go be taller than you. Well, you're not supposed to be sitting up on the couch now, are you? Yeah, uh, I don't want you sitting up, standing up on the couch, buddy. Can you sit down, please? And here comes Bill. Are you about to jump up on the couch too, Bill? Travel with your love life and whatnot. Oh yeah, that face gone right there. What are you trying to say? Yeah, nothing. I just want to let you know that I'm here to listen if you need to talk to. So, let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick some monster butt. Yeah, that is my boy, uh, Ironhead. He hasn't got a bed yet because he's not tired, apparently. So, we'll change that. Hopefully. I think he needs to get out and get some fresh air tomorrow, if it's the weather's good. Then knock him out later on. And what kind of nonsense is Tio putting into that girl's head? Secrets, huh? It's really dark here out in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. I'm going to start by checking around the house first. Then we'll move on to the field, stable, and greenhouses. I should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright, let's go. Nothing really around the house. It's awfully quiet. All I can hear are the bugs chirping. Okay, thanks, Belle. You make a great door. It doesn't look like they're showing up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. I mean, Joshua. Did anyone ever tell you a story as a kid? You know, I don't know, a baby's being born in a cabbage patch. Cabbage patch kids all of a sudden? Wow, that's going way back. Now, there's another question entirely out of the blue. And... Aren't we funny, aren't we? We're not going to get into that. <laughs> no, I was uh, about an angel on silver rings to who delivers them. Interesting. So the explanations for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? Well, we're probably get back to work. That was awkward. Okay. Okay, we should check the stables. is here. Alright, let's keep moving. Okay, I think this looks at the greenhouses. I sure figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. If all of the ormonds give this place such a romantic ambience. Ambience. Makes it feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You are definitely a ditz, it's still. At least it's better than being dense, like someone I know. Psst. Oh. <coughs> no! Let's get him away! Hey, get back here, you little furball! 
I can still sense his presence. I see him put on the farm for the moment. Oh, good. This is about to get caught. Okay, so... Where would it have gone to? Down here? Yep. Yeah. I got him! I think it's time to teach us quite a lesson. Here's where the job really sits. So stay down, don't let your guard down. Okay. 200. Giant crop monster's 200. The crop muncher is 220? And they're pretty well weaker. Oh, you're, you gotta... Okay, that can't be good. You're playing dead. Take care of you. Uh, yeah. Oh, you just ate that again. Seven out of two, so and a dirty carrot. Wow, yeah. my goodness, the work of the bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job rounding up these critters. Why, wow. yeah, that's because I'm three. I'm sitting. Okay, well, how about I just haul down to there, okay? Time for bed now, buddy. Yes, yet. <laughs> Tee -hee, there's nothing really. You though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan to do with them? Do we really have to exterminate them? I don't think they're causing any more trouble. Uh, now that giving these critters a, a good thrashing, I don't think they're, they'll cause any more trouble. Still, how's that going to benefit anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? I had a little job by exterminating these monsters, remember? But, in any case, I had a little job in Dad's place. Let's see if they got in this game. Well, you have to say for yourself. I see what you're getting at, but... You know, there's only some vegetables that were damaged, so... What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, I'm taking a beating like that. I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Tio, it's Brazil. But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. 
However, it's also damned the fact that it matters. Why are living beings trying to survive on the same land? Some great. I think we need uh, to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just a twenty? And of course. Yeah, buddy, you watched you watch one episode. Yeah, Time for bed. He just dropped it all the way down there. I'll pick up around a couple minutes. Well, he got the controller there on the couch. I'm pretty sure of that. Hey, buddy, what did you do with the controller? Can you pick it up, please? Understood. Since it's the comfort of the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. You gotta find it for mom, buddy. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had you come all this way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. That's that. Oh, All right, you critters. You'd better count your blessings. If we catch you around her game, you will be so lucky. Now scream. Yeah, dangle tiger's fine, buddy. Uh, yeah, Colette might want to hear this one. I know what Colette would do with a blue shell plushie. Oh, definitely. What would I do with the boxing gloves? I don't know, but blue shell plushie, I know you're throwing at me. I would love a blue shell plushie. Yeah. Yeah, I know you would. She actually would love one, but we have a hard time finding one, so. this medicals. Can we spend a long night? So how about we head back in the house and hit the sack? Okay. You two are more than welcome to spend the night. No. Sounds good to we'll me. To, we'll I appreciate your hospitality. Hey, she would constantly throw it at me too. Hey. The blue shell plushie. Uh, ha, ha. That would be fun, of course. Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we just hit the sack? Oh, and it's very one? sweet that Sir Kitty volunteers at the shelter. Yeah. How sweet. It is. I would want to take them all home. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Right. Oh, ah, I love you. Love you okay, good night. Right. I love you. Love you. He's right into the bedroom. Okay, goodbye. Say goodbye. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. Mm -hmm. well, what are you talking about? So what happened back outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you, nobody thought anything of it. Really, your parent was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent, is all. Even now. I still think we should have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. I like you and Tio. I don't feel any compassion. There's a time like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe some part of my head is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say anything things like that about yourself. Uh, still? I watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. And I'm confident in seeing that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than just yourself. 
I want to allow you to just disgrace everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry. I'm just foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's, yeah, that's all that really matters. You know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? The real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Still, I... Joshua, you were able to lay bear... You were able to lay bear your own weakness today. You learned to trust someone other than yourself. And for that, I'm happy. I, I don't know what your point is, but... It means that you could just stand there and say something embarrassing, as embarrassing as that. Huh. Oh, I've got a, a lot more to where that came from. How about we call it a night? After all, all this in this running around, I'm ready to, to drop. Alright then. Have a good night, Estelle. And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. And, of course, that's the end of that one. Thank you both. You did us a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. Uh, we were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else you, we can help you with in the future, please let the Brazen Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over the night again, when things are convenient for you. I'll show you just how much cooking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation, Tio and Mrs. Purcell. We'll definitely wreck to take you up in that room. <clears throat> Our workload settles down. You want? All right, here we head back to the guild. After we pour, so we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. I seen ya. Wait, you still got the surprise? Definitely not. Wait. I'm gonna start the store. No, better not. Oh, where's this new? Morning. How'd the job at the farm go? Well, I made a few bumps in the road, but let me give you a brief report on the details. 
Just in case I never run down of last night's events in the frame. And we got the paper for it. That was it, one big Okay. So classy. You see, so you have the uh, mercy free because the personal family requests you, you to do so. I think there's a few mature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things at that? The mission of Bruce is to protect the civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there's many forms of justice as there are certain heads. As a priest, it's your job to be able to, to discern these things. Indeed, our work has very profound complication, implications, if you think about it, in that way. Because we are into an organization that deals strictly with amounts of problems. We also intervene in, in disruptive lives between nations. If you're going to hire me, bring sir, we must uh, more of more than comment training. Our own home mind and flexible problem solving skills are also required. You share up mind and problem solving ability, huh? Serious? The road to the big league sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, then, you're tr well, trying to devote yourself to working hard every day. And since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are the words I've been waiting to hear. Thank you for anything, so... Alright, what you've got lined up for us th this time? You know the months of the need of a good whooping? Not this time. Your next job will entail the transportation of goods. And you get this, your client is not the mayor class himself. Really? A request from the mayor? Do you think it'll be alright or leaving it's such an important task up to us? From what I heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. Okay, well... I'm looking for a rare mushroom that grows only where there are rich parts of septum in the ground. It should be an easy fun job. For details, please seek me out. My name is Orbit, and I'll be waiting at the landing port. I'm looking for someone to replace the malfunctioning orbit lights in the road, lamp, and the milch meat in the road. For details, see me at Mel's Orbit Park. I'm searching for a flower known as a bear claw. It's named for the force of the soil south of Roland, and the latter comes from inside with monsters. In order to find these items, please come see me at the Roland Chapel. Okay, so the orbit replacement I'm gonna have to probably do. It. Actually, all these I might be able to do. I gotta take a good look at them. Two the soldiers stationed at, at the bridge, so they're gonna go special training. And we're looking for a few good men or women to play parts of enemy soldiers. If you're up to a task, contact Chief Warrant Officer Ashton at Vert Checkpoint on the west end of the main road. So we can do all these. The order replacement is probably going to have to be done right away. But in the meantime, we can set the end of stream here now. Probably go right straight over to the weapon shop. I do want to buy. Let's see. I do need armor vests. I need two of them. I need to. Okay, so spikes can be for both. The other vest I'll have to get received up for as well. Yes, 
sell this stuff? It was a good idea for me to sell it. Uh, I'll wait. That one. So I'll stop the stream here now. Thanks everyone for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow night for when Colette and I actually play some Mario Golf off the Nintendo Switch. We played around a bit the other day and just to get practice in and well, we'll play more of it tomorrow. So we'll see what happens on that one. So thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for the follow as well. From Door Up and Oh and from the raid from Banga as well. So peace out everybody, see you tomorrow night.